In a big breakthrough, CBI has arrested four people, two men and two women, in connection with the alleged killing of two youngsters, two Mete youngsters in Manipur. This case had uh, put Imphal on the edge. From 6th of July, the 17-year-old girl and the 20-year-old boy had gone missing till a photograph uh, emerged on the internet showing their dead bodies, bodies allegedly. And since then, Imphal had seen a lot of protests. But how was uh, CBI uh, really cracking down on those who were suspected to be behind this abduction and possible killing? From what CNN News 18 learns, this was nothing short of what has been called surgical strike in military parlance. A joint team led by Manipur police and uh, Indian Army swooped down in Churchandrapur in the area where the suspects were and they gave them no time. I mean, all the six were rounded up, four of the suspects and two minor daughters of uh, one of the suspects. They were all rounded off, put in a vehicle and packed off uh, to Imphal. Uh, the protesters started gathering, uh, but before they could react, and this is the, the hill towns that we are talking about, uh, the Methi police could not reach there, and therefore Manipur police had to carefully select the police team that could get access to this particular area. The Indian Army's uh, help was sought, and uh, this area was about 51 kilometers away uh, from the Imphal airport. And this was a race against time that the team was taking as per officials who spoke to CNN News 18 on a question of anonymity. What we also learned that senior officials of the administration of Manipur contacted DGCA, contacted BCAS, which is the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, contacted CISF, which is in charge for guarding the Imphal airport. They were all asked to be on standby to quote a senior officer. All these agencies follow a fixed rule. There are fixed protocol about an aircraft uh, taking off. The last flight was just a few minutes after 5 o'clock. And this was a race against time on Sunday when the team of Indian Army and Manipur police left the, the hills of Manipur. Uh, by the time they drove down to the Imphal airport, the CBI team was waiting. Word had got out about the arrest. And since this arrest was coming soon after a similar arrest had happened in a case of NIAs, there was a lot of tension on ground. Um, the six were then whisked away to Guwahati, where the designated court for this case was. Two minors were also in transit from Imphal uh, to Guwahati. Now, the allegations have been made by the tribal uh, bodies there that there were no juvenile, uh, uh, you know, juvenile or women arrest uh, protocols that were followed. There was nobody, uh, there was no woman who was part of this team. Even the juveniles were not given any option. Uh, but what the CBI officials say is that there was nobody left to take care of the minors after their parents were arrested. And therefore, they were permitted to uh, accompany the parents in transit. And once they reached Guwahati, they were handed over to the Kamrup District uh, Child Protection Officer. So that is where CBI's case stands. But there is a lot of protest going on in the hills of Manipur. Complete lockdown has been called there. Uh, the tribal groups have come out with a statement saying that, you know, why was this kind of a secrecy followed? They're also accusing the central agencies of following with the narrative that the chief minister has given a lot of resentment against the chief minister as well. But the, the government uh, there, as well as the Central Bureau of Investigation, uh, says that they suspect that the, this duo, uh, the 17-year-old girl and the 20-year-old boy, had strayed into uh, cookie areas. They were, in fact, spotted by some cookie volunteers and asked to leave that area. But uh, the last time they were seen uh, was when the boy was at, at a cookie bunker and soon cookie militants arrived in a gypsy and carried them away and they were not seen after that. The suspicion is that they perhaps were kept uh, alive for a day or two and then killed. These four who have been arrested to court senior officials, prime emphasize their involvement is established in the entire conspiracy. They will be questioned further to know as to why the duo were killed, who all were part of it. Uh, more arrests are likely. But first and foremost, CBI is looking for the dead bodies of uh, the duo to establish that they, they, through their DNA profiling that they indeed are dead. Uh, the motorbike, the missing motorbike, the missing phone, the missing clothes are also all crucial evidence that CBI needs to prove this case. But the first step has been taken.